time by the Insta360 ONE X2 camera again if I had it to do all over again. Well, you're in luck because that's what I'm going to answer in this video. I don't need the box, though. I already opened it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys five things that I like about the Insta360 ONE X2. And I'm going to give you a few things that I don't like. But before we talk about this little guy, I want to make sure I remind you guys to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, follow along. Hit that notification bell. You'll know when I make new videos. Okay, so the first question might be, Billy Kayaks, why are you making a video about this? I thought you were recording your fishing adventures and kayaking and all that. Well, I've had some friends asking me what camera I've been using. So I started filming, seriously trying to film and make entertaining videos about my adventure with the kayak tournament fishing. I went to the Susquehanna and then I had a couple of local tournaments here in Ohio and I used this Insta360 ONE X2 and you know I did some testing with it as well. So yeah, I think I'm I think I'm qualified as a a new user anyway to uh, tell you guys what I like and what I don't like. All right, so let's start with what I do like about it. And the number one thing, I don't know if it's number one, but the first thing I want to say is the battery. So not only the battery life, I think on their website, it says they get like 45 to 60 minutes of battery life. But what I want to show you, and I've been getting more than that, I'm pretty sure. I want to show you the battery to my GoPro Hero 8, and then the battery to the Insta360 ONE X2. Oh, and then you see like little numbers written on there. That was me. I took a paint marker and I wrote, sometimes when I'm in the kayak, I will take the battery out uh, when it dies. I'll take it out to switch it. And then um, I have two batteries in my hand and I can't remember which one is the dead battery and it, it's a me issue, but I fixed the me issue with a marker. So I bought some new batteries, um, two additional, not new, they are new, but they're extra batteries and this little charging station. So I still have room to buy one more. And what I, what I like to do is, you know, run the battery until it dies and then take it out, put this in the charger. And then, you know, a lot of us uh, kayak anglers, we have a lithium battery or some kind of battery that we can charge our phone or whatever while we're in the kayak. So just plug this in with the USB and I can charge two batteries while I'm draining a battery. And then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to buy another one. Uh, someone may say, why don't you just take this little door off and hardwire it, plug it right in. I could do that, but I like to dunk this little guy underwater to get some fish release videos and things like that. And it's waterproof. It's not waterproof if you take the door off. So I like it to be waterproof. So I bought extra batteries. And to me, that's just easier. I may go in a different direction if I'm doing some vlogging or something like that. But for now, my number one thing I like is the battery. I actually like the batteries. Number two, that's two. See what I did there? I, I was wearing two. Number two is going to be the storage, the GoPro. I love the GoPro Hero 8 that I have. It does exactly what I want it to do. Um, it's steady. It's smooth. But it only has 256 megabytes in the, in the flash card. It doesn't support more than that. Will GoPro support more in the future? Is there something I'm missing? I don't know. I do know that the Insta360 ONE X2 can support up to one terabyte of a single card. So I bought a 512 and with a 512 recording in 360 mode, which I think is like 5.7K, this can actually record 10 and a half hours of video on the 512. So on a one terabyte, you can get over 20 hours of video. No need to worry about running out of storage or changing cards while you're on the water, anything like that. So. I don't want to introduce any water or moisture or anything to the inside of the camera. So I like the idea of not, I don't have to fuss with that. Fuss. Don't have to fuss with it. Is the memory, the, uh, they do cost a little bit more. One terabyte I think is, I don't know, getting close to $200 or, you know, it might be under 200 now, but they're expensive. Make sure that you don't buy a knockoff memory card. I saw on a forum, some people had issues with their bat, with their, their, um, Insta360 powering down and a lot of the a lot of the comments I saw were like oh where'd you buy your memory card you know did you get it on Amazon did you buy from a reputable dealer so if you buy a fake card you have to make sure it's recording fast and if it's not recording fast enough it will shut down 
And number three for me really could apply to the GoPro Max or this Insta360. And that's just the fact of having the capability to film 360 while I'm kayak fishing. So one of the things you guys know is that you want to see the angler cast and you want to see the cast placement. Maybe where where'd it land and if it's top water and, and there's a blow up, you want to see the blow up. You want to get that on video. But then you also want to get the angler's reaction with the 360 camera. It is literally like having a camera crew with you in your boat at all times. It records 360 degrees. It has two lenses that record 150 degrees in each direction, and then it stitches them together. But just having that 360 capability is a game changer for me. Absolutely love it. All right, moving right along, number four. My favorite thing about this Insta360 is the selfie stick. Oh, Billy, don't the other ones have selfie sticks too? Well, they do. But what's cool about this, this camera, the lens, they're actually um, back to back. They're, they're, they're lined up. So when you put the selfie stick on here, the uh, selfie stick is actually in the blind spot. It's no magic that Insta360 is doing. It's nothing you have to do in post-production. The selfie stick is in the blind spot. So it actually eliminates the stick. So it just looks like the camera is floating. And that, I just, I can't, I can't express enough how cool that effect is. Um, I mount the camera. You can see I have this little yak attack mount here. I just mount the camera in front of me, facing at me. I think Insta360 recommends that the uh, that the video is at eye level if you're recording yourself. So you may extend it up just a little bit, but it doesn't get in the way. I know a lot of anglers will have this off to the side. Some of them will shoot from behind them. Some people have you know a helmet or a chest mount or whatever. This camera is just sitting right in front of me, off to my left a little bit and it's not sticking up very high, boom, there you go. And then when I use the key framing, which could have been another thing I like when I was talking about 360 cameras in general, but when you're doing the key framing, you pan the camera over to where maybe you're fighting the fish and you're about to put it in the net. When, the, when your net comes around, the fish comes around, and you go to scoop, you don't see the, the, the selfie stick. So it just seems like, you know, if it's facing me and facing the water, well, that's pretty pretty standard, but it's when you start keyframing and you start getting creative with your shot that um, it really kind of shines. So pretty cool. Five with the Insta360 One X2, I'm going to say is the software that it has. And I guess software, I mean the, uh, the app. So when you unbox this and you power it up, first thing they're going to want you to do is do a firmware update and you're going to download the app and the 360 app is really cool. You can edit the video while it's still on the camera, get all the video the way you want it, and then export it. I use an iPad. I have LumaFusion is the, the editing software that I use, and I use an iPad. Um, I like the convenience. I know if you had a laptop and things like that, I could probably you know do more, probably faster, but I like the iPad, and, and for that reason, I really like the Insta Insta360 app that it comes with, and if you go online, you can check that out. It's not just this camera. They make some other ones. They make a smaller one. They make some bigger ones. And um, yeah, so that's number five. Tell you a couple of things that I really don't like about this camera. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't buy it again because I would. Spoiler alert, I would buy it again. But I want to tell you some things I don't like. I'm a kayak angler. And I know that by having this in the boat, there, there's, there may be some times where, where I drop it. Um, it has the lens on the front and back, like we already talked about, but they're, they're not protected. You can buy little stick-on covers, um, and I actually have them. I haven't installed them yet, but I bought these little stick-on covers, and then they also make one that goes right over top. But these lenses are really delicate, so it comes with this neoprene case. So anytime it's on a table or flat surface, I'm always laying it on top of the neoprene case. And then if it's in the selfie on the selfie stick, I'll slide this in here. And I'm always traveling with it with this case. And that the reason is because I have to be very careful not to scratch this. If you drop it, um, if it falls over in your kayak, if one drop and it's going to scratch the lens, that's not good. Okay, number two thing that I don't like, and I don't remember if I'm supposed to be counting the things I don't like. The Insta360 One X2 does not have a looping feature. So for everyone out there that's a fan of the GoPro, 
you know that when you're kayak angling, you're going to be on the water for a long time. It's a lot of battery. It's a lot of storage. It's a lot of just video um, that you're going to be recording. You don't know when the action is going to happen. Um, we may fish for a couple hours without even a single bite. Obviously, you don't want all that video, so you can set it up to loop with the GoPro. And as of September of 2022, the Insta360 One X2 does not have loop feature. They did add it to one of their other cameras, so I'm hopeful that they will change that and they will add a loop feature to this one. And then the third thing that I really don't, I don't, I'm not going to say I hate it, but I wish it was a little bit better. The audio is not great. I do have, just like on a GoPro, to get the best audio for vlogging, you would want to add an external mic and you can um, take the take the little cover off and you can plug it in. But because I like that selfie, the invisible selfie stick so much, that when you add, um, when you add a, uh, microphones you have to stay in that blind spot as well so i do have a road uh wireless go and it can i bought the cord and everything i just got to get a little mount to put it on there but it, it's not waterproof once you do that so um this works really good in an environment where it's it's quiet like i'll record in my truck for like a turn do a tournament uh recap or maybe to kick it off or whatever but when there's a lot of noise i did one video where i was under a bridge i was on the creek and there was a lot of traffic in the morning going over the bridge. And the, the, the microphones were just really competing with that. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because there's moments where the audio sounds really good. And maybe it's a me issue. Maybe I need to go into the settings and, and just point. Because it has four microphones, one on each corner, which makes sense. It's a 360 camera, so you want the audio to be 360. But I think if I'm talking directly into the camera as a vlog style, there may be an option for me to um, tell it which which camera or which uh, microphone to use. So that's that. But in regular quiet situations, it performs just as good as the uh, as you know as my GoPro does with the audio. Hey, if you guys haven't already, go check out some of my videos that I posted right before this one. It's going to be the Susquehanna and then Mosquito Creek Lake and Columbus Rivers, that will give you an idea on what I've been doing with this camera so far. I have a little intro that kind of shows a few creative shots. Um, everything that I've done in those three videos was done with the Insta360 One X 2. Um, did not use the GoPro, did not use my cell phone or anything else. So everything you see will be from this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Look, there's tons of video reviews out there on this camera. So if you want to know things like pricing, or you want to really do a deep dive into the specs and see if this is for you, you can do that. But I just want to give the perspective of, uh, you know, from a kayak angler. So I love this camera. I know there's other options out there, but yes, yes, I would buy it again. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.